Hey everyone, in this video let's see how we can create a ranking in Power Query based upon the local grouping or the clusters. So in case of a normal ranking what you would simply do is sort your columns and then you will add an index column in your table that will start from 1 and then it will assign a unique value for each row in that table. But what I want to do is simply rank based upon the brand that we are currently iterating on. So let's say if I am at A datum. I only want to rank local to that brand. So the ranking will start from 1 and it will go till 10 only. And when we move to AdventureWorks, the rank should start from 1 and then it should end at either 7 or 6 depending upon the number of rows that we have in that table. So let's get started and I will show you how we can do that. The first thing that I'm going to do is simply remove these two steps so that I can go back to the original state. And then I'm going to remove all the other columns except the brand column. So let's right click and choose the option of remove other columns and then I also want a distinct list of the brands so I can select that and choose the option of duplicate columns sorry the remove duplicates option and I have received a table containing all the unique brands and now what I'm going to do is simply join the source table with this table but this time I'm not going to use the merge queries option I'm going to use the table dot select rows function so let's click on add custom column and it is also a good example of showing that how you can use the table rows, table dot select rows function. So let's write one so that we get the code in the formula editor and then I can write my custom code myself. So in the source I have 10 rows for a datum and that and what I want to do is simply retrieve those 10 rows and all three columns in the added custom step. So let's write let's remove each and one and what I'm going to do is simply create my own custom function and I'm going to write current brand and then let's use the go to operator so the current brand will access the values from the this table that I have inside the table dot add columns and then I'm going to write table dot select rows function and the first argument will be my source table and here I'm going to create another custom function and that will be inner brand And that function will access the values from the source table and in the next argument I'm going to write the go to operator and I'm going to check that inner brand brand column should be equal to the current brand brand column and when that is true I want to retrieve the value the rows from the source table and let's click on out click outside of that code and you can see that for a datum I get the rows for a datum if I select adventure works I get only the rows that are for the adventure works and then for contoso I'm only getting the rows for the contoso and based on that now I can create a local ranking on this table so let's see how we can do that now what we can do is simply sort the sales amount column so that we can assign the ranking and I'm going to sort the sales amount column in descending order and there are two ways of doing that either we could have done it in the source itself by sorting first by brand and then by the sales amount column uh, or we can do it here by writing the table.sort function on the table.select rows function that we have already written so let's choose the second option this time and I'm going to write table.sort and let's go to the end and what I'm going to do is open my curly braces and I'm going to write sales amount and I want order dot descending so let's close the table dot sort function and table dot add column op function and let's click on a datum and you can see that the sales amount column has been sorted in descending order and let's look at other cells as well so it looks like all the columns of this table has been sorted in the descending order and now based on that let's add an index column on each table and for that what we can do is before the table sort table dot sort option I can write table dot add index column and let's go to the end and here I'm going to write the new columns name and it is going to be ranking or maybe rank and the first value would be one and it should increment by one and let's close the table dot add column function and if I click outside you can see that for each brand we are getting a local ranking so if I 
go to adventure works the ranking is starting from 1 and it ends at 7 if i go to contoso the ranking starts again at 1 and then go goes till 13 and based on that what we can do is simply right click and remove other column and now i can extract the values from this column so let's click on this option and let's click ok and if i close the formula bar you can see that for a datum i get ranking from 1 till 10 for adventure works i'm starting at 1 and then the ranking ends at 7 and similarly for contoso the ranking starts at 1 and then ends at 13 and then last thing that we can do is simply select all the columns go to transform option and then just click on detect data type and it looks like it has correctly detected the, all the data types of all the columns and that's how you can create ranking based on the local grouping based on the brand that you are currently iterating and i will see you in the next video and, and if you have any questions for me just let me know in the comment section and have a great day